Welcome back to Let's Play The Evil Within 2. I'm Burning Dog Face. And last time, we came here on behalf of Mobius Operative Sykes in order to turn... Well, not this computer, but these servers back on. And amazingly, we came down here and there was no problem getting here at all. But as soon as we turned it on, this guy showed up, so I'm assuming that getting back will not be as easy. On the plus side, I do have an axe that I'd forgotten about. I mean, this works, too. Yeah, I remember this room. This is where I saw the projection of uh, Myra. Which means it was this column that was covered in goo. Or maybe this one that I started an episode staring directly at. All right. Well, that behind me is locked up tight, so... Huh. I didn't realize it marked the regular-ass computers on the map. No, that's a computer. Oh, there's two axes back here. Let me guess. Was you dropped an axe? That'd be really handy. Nope. On the other hand, no, 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 not that. Yes. No. Actually, that wasn't too bad. This was a little damage. Get up on my account. Okay, I guess I go get the other one then. No skin off my back. Although I probably shouldn't use phrasing like that in The Evil Within because uh, there are probably some enemies who would be very happy to make it literal. Oh, missed that. I just assumed the shimmer was part of the axe. Funny how some of the doors stay open and some of them don't. Wait a minute, I've just remembered a thing. <laughs> Michael Scott alerted me to a, uh... Angel statue I'd missed. I think I can get back there. 
I'd recognize the room on the timestamp, but I didn't check the map around that part. Just know that it's up here somewhere. This is the area, right here. So thank you to Michael Scott. <laughs> For the record, it was here. It's always easier to spot things, and you're not actually the one playing the game, isn't it? Okay. I guess it's because, you know, you're not focused on the gameplay itself. Oh, fuck. Can I not take cover? I hate them. Oh, this is a bad call. But it'll save ammo. Even if it is only one. Okay, that worked out. I do think she got me, unfortunately. Oh damn, I took one of her arms. Oh. Keep wondering if that's water or just residue. Okay, just checking. Oh wait, I did open this one. This was one of those fancy locks, wasn't it? Um. Okay, nothing I left behind. Oh, and that's just a reflection of my light. Fair enough. suppose by now Sykes has probably drank some coffee of his own since I left him on very poor health after that, you know, zombie rush. I mean, I did my best. Could have done it smoother, yes, but you know.
guys. This is what jacking into the Matrix feels like. Honestly, I think it's kind of creepier that it doesn't just watch you all the time. Oh. Maybe that stuff does keep. Nope, no significance of that unless I want to be like the bird. Ah, yes, well. not you, that's just a... that's just a tower. They're burning the bodies. Why? Huh. Okay, no rematch. Maybe there are only two of them. I doubt it, if only because, you know, things never work out that easily. See, this, I thought this window here was like a drive through for a second. I thought, so this car has been abandoned at the drive through off, with all of its doors closed and none of its windows broken. It's like the driver saw that the zombie apocalypse is happening and just went, nope, and ceased to exist. Oops. Hi. Oh, I hate this. No, this is not where I want to be. Mm, no. You know what? I'm just gonna... Oh, Christ. I feel it coming! I still feel it coming! Is that just that one, or is the other one around here? Shit. The controller vibrates really noticeably when that thing is running around.
So do they not care, or...? I mean, okay, man. Sure. Can I go into that bar there? I don't know that I actually tried before. Oh, crap! That's exactly where I want to be. The one with glass... a uh, whole glass storefront. Your body, your success, Opuleska. Okay, this is happening. No, it isn't. If that was a real horror movie, I would have backed up into a dead body. I'm just saying. Barkeep's Journal. The final entry in this well-worn journal. You never read the first entry. The guy's feeling good about life and hoping he can have a new start here in Union. <clears throat> the tap room has been booming. Business is good. Oh, there you go. Lots of new faces in Union these days. They're arriving by the train load, and they're thirsty. If it keeps up like this, I'll finally be able to afford some beer taps. Just, you, you don't really have any taps, but you call the place the Devil's Tap Room? Whatever. Pete complains about the crowds, but I say the more the merrier. He's always been cantankerous, but lately he's been acting extra weird. He sits there in his usual spot, giving new customers the stink eye and mumbling to himself. I would cut him off, but he's always been my best customer. I really hate the way they just suddenly take off and run. But you, Pete... I was sure there was going to be a zombie sitting in a chair here, and he gets up after I read that. I'm not sure that it can actually get in here, but I'm not going to test that. That one diner I went to treated the windows like, you know, secret artifacts that could not be damaged. The ones with blinds, anyway. And maybe it could fit through that door if it, you know, compressed itself. I don't know that it can't do that. It is just a collection of random fucking body parts, after all. What the fuck? Oh, it must be some of Stefano's pre-complete insanity work. You know, before his art totally went around the bend? Yeah, that could be a model that was alive, even. Is it camping the door? Gun. Oh. Ah, oh, damn it. That's what the, the uh, harpoons didn't seem to do anything, because you have to destroy the heads. 
And harpoons just do a lot of damage, rather than, you know, blowing shit apart. I mean, I've seen it done, but, you know. Okay. There don't seem to be any street signs, oddly. But, uh, I think we're done here. I think it's a safer place. There's a shitload of zombies in that direction, but, uh... You know, one thing at a time. Maybe if I'm really lucky. Oh no, it was not reloaded yet. Well, I'll just go after Shatter the Illusion and drink the coffee now. Hey, maybe Sykes made his own, I don't know. Maybe he doesn't like the way other people make it, or he likes those coffee makers with the little pods in them. For just a second there, I thought I was totally screwed. No, no, I got that guy way earlier. What's this about? I might not need that. Definitely gonna hold on to that, though. I knew you'd make it back. I'm Burning Dog Face, and we're going to have a chat with our friend Sykes on the next episode of Let's Play The Evil Within 2. We also have a coffee and then figure out our next move. Later!